Imagine a reality where humans aren't just three-dimensional beings, a reality that transcends everything we know. Yes, it's a thought that's as intriguing as it is perplexing. We are so used to living in our three-dimensional world that the idea of existing in more dimensions might seem like a concept straight out of a science fiction novel. But hold on to your hats, folks. This isn't just fodder for imaginative writers or dreamers. It is an actual field of study in theoretical physics. Scientists are toiling away, trying to comprehend the mysteries of dimensions beyond the three we are familiar with. They're delving into the realm of the unknown the unfathomable, the extraordinary. They're pushing the boundaries of our understanding and perceptions. So buckle up, because in this video, we are diving into the mind-bending world of higher dimensions and how humans might look in a seven-dimensional universe. Before we can grasp the idea of a seven-dimensional human, we first need to understand what dimensions are. Let's start by imagining a world with only one dimension. Picture a straight line. In this world, you could only move forward or backward. That's it. There's no up, no down, no left or right, just one direction and its opposite. Now, let's add a second dimension. Picture a flat plane, like a piece of paper. Here, you can move forward and backward, but now you also have the option to move left and right. You have two dimensions to move in, but still no up or down. It's like living in a flatland. Let's go a step further. Add a third dimension. Now, you're in a world that you're familiar with. Suddenly you can move up and down, left and right, forward and backward. This is our world, a three-dimensional space. It's like living in a box where you can move in any direction. But what does it mean to live in a three-dimensional world? It means that any point in space can be described by three numbers. For instance, let's say you're playing a game of hide and seek and you're hiding behind a tree that's 10 steps forward, five steps to the right and two steps up a hill. Those three numbers, 10, 5 and 2, describe your location in a three-dimensional world. It's also important to remember that dimensions are not just about space. Time is often considered the fourth dimension. We move forward in time. And while we can remember the past, we can't go back to it or skip ahead to the future. So in a way, we're all four-dimensional beings, moving through three dimensions of space and one of time. Now that we have a grasp on what dimensions are, let's venture beyond our three-dimensional world. The jump from the third to the fourth dimension is where things start to get really interesting. You see, we've been living in a three-dimensional world where everything has length, width and height. But here's the twist. We're actually four-dimensional beings. The fourth dimension, often considered as time, is what allows us to move forward in the world. It's like we're on a constant, unstoppable journey through the time dimension moving from the past to the future with the present being our current location in that journey. But what if I told you we could add another dimension to this picture? This is where we start to delve into the abstract realm of the fifth dimension. If we think of the fourth dimension as a single timeline of your life, the fifth dimension could be imagined as a plane of all possible timelines. It's a space where different outcomes of our decisions exist simultaneously, creating a vast web of alternate realities. Now, hold that thought as we venture even further into the sixth dimension. This is where things start to get mind-bending. If the fifth dimension represents all the possible paths our universe could follow, the sixth dimension includes all possible universes, each with its own set of laws and constants. Imagine that a multitude of universes where the laws of physics as we know them may not even apply. As we ascend through the dimensions, our understanding of reality becomes more complex. It's a journey that takes us beyond the realm of our everyday experiences, challenging our perception of the world around us. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, revealing deeper and more intricate layers of reality the further we go. But this is just the beginning. The realm of the seventh dimension is still ahead, promising even more abstract and complex concepts. So brace yourselves and hold on tight as we make the leap to the seventh dimension. The seventh dimension is a place of infinite possibilities. Here, everything that can possibly happen has happened. It's a mind-bending concept, isn't it? To truly grasp the idea of the seventh dimension, we must venture into the realms of quantum physics and string theory. 
Now these theories can be a tad intimidating, but let's break them down into digestible bits. Quantum physics suggests that there are multiple universes, or multiverses if you will. Each universe branches off into an infinite number of paths, creating a vast web of realities. Now, if we look at this from a seven-dimensional perspective, every single one of these realities exists simultaneously. Every choice you've ever made, every path you've ever taken, and even those you didn't, they all exist in the seventh dimension. Mind-boggling, isn't it? Now, let's bring string theory into the mix. String theory postulates that the universe is made up of tiny, vibrating strings of energy. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, and these frequencies determine the nature of reality. In the seventh dimension, these strings vibrate in such a way that they create every possible version of our universe. However, it's important to note that we cannot truly visualize the seventh dimension. Our brains are wired to perceive only three spatial dimensions, making it impossible to imagine a seven-dimensional space. But we can attempt to understand it through mathematical models and abstract thinking. Just as a two-dimensional being can't comprehend a three-dimensional object, we too are limited in our understanding of dimensions beyond our own. Yet, we continue to explore, to theorize, to imagine. Just think of it this way. The seventh dimension is not a place or a thing, but rather it's an abstract concept that represents all the possible universes that could have started with our same Big Bang. Now the big question remains, what would a human being look like in this seven-dimensional universe? In a seven-dimensional universe, humans might not even be recognizable to our three-dimensional selves. Imagine, if you will, a human form that exists not as a solid entity, but rather as a probability cloud. This concept may sound strange, but it's a theory that comes from quantum mechanics, a branch of science that deals with particles at the atomic and subatomic levels. In this higher dimensional universe, the human form could potentially exist in a state of constant flux. Rather than being confined to a single stationary body, a seven-dimensional human might exist in multiple states and places simultaneously. This means that different aspects of our being could be dispersed throughout the universe, interacting with it in ways that our three-dimensional minds can barely comprehend. But what would this look like? Well, that's where things get even more speculative. The truth is our three-dimensional brains are not equipped to fully visualize or understand the complexities of a seven-dimensional existence. We can only make educated guesses based on the mathematical models and theories we've developed so far. So a seven-dimensional human might not have a body in the traditional sense. Instead, they might exist as a complex array of multi-dimensional points, all interconnected and constantly shifting like a vast cosmic web. The seven-dimensional human could be a being of pure energy, or perhaps a sentient cloud of particles constantly reforming and reshaping itself in response to the multidimensional forces around it. We should stress that these ideas are purely speculative. 